Morning everybody from Spring, Texas. So I'm a little concerned. Truck wouldn't start this morning. And I've got the jump I've got the jump pack on it now. And I didn't do anything different than I normally do. I'm I'm here just parked in a parking lot. I didn't have to run the truck last night. Um, the weather was fine. I didn't need heat. I didn't need air. Okay, so it got a little humid. And I have a small little personal fan that I have blowing on me at night. And I always shut off my cooler and my power to my air compressor for my air tank. So it was just normal stuff. But yet this morning, I was even having trouble rolling the windows up and down and my passenger side window, uh, front door passenger side window, it wouldn't roll down uh, with the control. I had to use the driver's side control. So that may be a different issue altogether. I just may be having a glitch in my system. But we're not starting this morning. I'm trying to get over to my customer so I can load. And... In the back of my mind, I already kind of knew that something didn't seem right with the truck this morning, the way the windows were rolling up and down. And I thought, sure enough, she won't start. So we got my, my trusty, dusty little little jump pack is um, getting a workout. I'm going to let it pulse and send juice into my battery for a minute before I try to start the truck. But I'm telling you. We just can't have nice things. All right, the truck still isn't starting, even with the jump pack. And so I went ahead and I got out my breakaway battery. And I've hooked it to my secondary battery on the truck. And then I've got the jump pack still on the primary battery. I don't know. Something's up. I kind of have sent a message out to my mechanic, but I'm in Texas. Mechanics in Kentucky. Not a lot. Not a lot anybody can do. So I'm going to let that marinate a little and see if she'll start. So um, um, I don't want to show his face, but this guy right here just st jump started my truck. And so I'm on my way to Sam's Club to have him check the batteries. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he saved me a ton of money. There are still good people in this world. Pay it forward. All right, Sam's Club tested my batteries. They're both good. Which means, and my mechanic suggested this, he goes, you probably just need to run less electronics at night. I have two new electronics that I'm running off my battery at night. Um, one of them is a, let's see, what have I got? One, two, three. I have my work phone, my personal phone, and I've added a tablet. So I've got one extra device. Plus when I have the key on for the auxiliary, my um, dash cam runs all the time. And so what I may have to do is just unplug more things. I can't keep getting left high and dry like that. Okay, so I wasn't left high and dry, but it's kind of awkward. It's kind of a pain in the butt. You're trying to get going, trying to trying to do your job, and your truck won't start. And the customer that I'm picking up at, they go to lunch. So I guess I'm going to go to lunch and show up probably around one o'clock in the afternoon their time and go ahead and pick up my load at that point but, all right well it's good to know that my batteries are good though no, that that's good because uh, they're new they're they're about a year old and that would be really a bummer if, if I fried one of my batteries so I'm glad I didn't fry a battery apparently I'd be really talented right I can fry a battery all right that's it for now I'm heading back over to the other side of town. Alrighty folks, this is what we got going on. 
pickup look Magnolia Texas it's going to deliver in Moxville North Carolina I am hooked to a gooseneck trailer shipping weight 15800 GVWR 24,000 with the axles at toward the back you're, you're about to see I'll, I'll show you a walk around but with the axles in the back you're gonna have to swing this thing like it's a 53 foot trailer because it's going to need a lot of swing room to turn it's gonna be interesting come on let's go take a look at it and I'll let you see the, the outside of it the inside is just a shell uh, it's um, supposed to be the customer that's buying it it's a concession trailer so the inside when you look in there it's just a big open space with um, uh, framework that obviously would need to be constructed to the new owners liking so there's nothing to see inside but come on I'll take you around the outside And these people are cool. They, um, I was. We're ready here in a second for you. Alrighty, no hurry. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Um, I was just sitting there catching up my logbook and doing my paperwork, submitting pictures, and all that glorious stuff that goes along with it. And the guy comes up and he goes, Ah, oh, do you have five minutes? Your, one of your DOT lights is out on the trailer and we'd like to replace it. And I went, I didn't notice it, a light out. And so we went back there and he goes, well, it's on, but it's really dim and we'd like to replace it. I'm like, okay, if you, yeah, I'm like, yeah, no, no hurry. So they want to, they want to pop it out and, and put another in there and replace it. I asked him, I said, so like when you see one of your units roll out of the lot, do you get all warm and fuzzy? Like, oh, there goes another one. And they're like, mm-hmm. morning from Scott, Louisiana. Two things I wanted to mention this morning. I'm parked in an empty lot next door to a Wendy's. So I was thinking I'll get breakfast in the morning. So I walk over there and I go inside and the lady goes, oh, we're not open yet. We don't open till nine. Well, what, what time is it? 8.50. You could go through the drive-thru. Like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pulling a trailer. I can't go through the drive-thru. And at that point, I would have thought that they could have been kind, right? Say, oh, well, we could take your order. Nope, let me walk out the door. Fine, whatever. The second thing, I walk across the street to a convenience store, get myself some awesome coffee, and breakfast, and I'm ready to start my day. That was the second thing. It's, it's no big deal. But um, my friends have been telling me the weather's coming in, and North Carolina's going to get this and that. And, down here in Scott, Louisiana, we're dying. It's it's really warm down here. It is so nice. It is so nice. Humidity though. Oh my goodness, the humidity is pretty pretty thick, but um we'll survive. That's what air conditioning is for, right? So alright. That's it. The girls are waiting on me to open up the breakfast. I bought um some bacon, egg, and cheese croissant thingies and um uh, uh, they'll get most of the bread. Okay, don't get me wrong. I don't give them all of the bread because, you know, carbohydrates are just a bad thing. But they'll get they'll get the bread and maybe a little bacon. It's hard for me to share my bacon. 
Oh, and there was a third thing. I'm putting my phone back in the uh, holder and the screen pops up and says, how do you say thank you in German? And my thought is, I don't know, why are you asking me? Alrighty, I am at the customer, Mockville, what? Alabama, North Carolina. You know what? Anyway, I'm at the customer. They're checking it in now. I've already unhooked from it. They've got the door open, so I'll let you sneak a peek inside. There's nothing really to see, but we'll go see it anyway. Moxville, North Carolina. That's where I'm delivered at. Which went well. I mean, really well. I have submitted my post-trip pictures. And then I've sent the queue that I've delivered. And I'm waiting for the option to come up to submit my... And I'm waiting for the uh, Q button to pop up so that I can submit my paperwork. But I got permission from the customer to drive around the lot because I've never been to this type of customer before and this is some really cool stuff that I've not seen before and I have to, have to share it with you. Very NASCAR-ish, and I comment, commented to that effect to the lady in there, and she says, oh yeah, we service all of their trailers. I'm not a NASCAR fan, but I am an equipment fan, and seeing all this equipment for all the racing and of course the horse trailers, this is really cool, so, alrighty, it's done. Another one in the books. We're good, right? Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end this episode now.
just remember guys it's all about the perspective